Due to soaring COVID numbers, no visitors are being allowed at Spring Hill Medical Center in Mobile. Brianna Hollis joins us live from the hospital, which so far is the only one in our area to change its visitation policy. Yeah, Pete, this went into effect at noon today here at the hospital, and the decision came in response to a 10% uptick in COVID-19 cases right here in the Mobile community. A spokesperson for the hospital sent us the following statement. It says, because of the increased prevalence of COVID-19 in the community and our commitment to keeping our patients, physicians, and employees safe, we are suspending hospital visitation. We understand the hardships associated with this policy and will allow visitation as as soon as it's safe to do so. And while Spring Hill is the only hospital in Mobile to make the change so far, the spike in COVID-19 cases has other patients anxious about what their next appointment's going to look like. My number one thing at all of my doctor's appointments have been, hey, have you heard anything else about how many visitors I can have? 22-year-old Megan Bush is paralyzed from the waist down. When she was 10, a car hit her while she was walking on the side of the road. She's been in and out of hospitals for 12 years. She was used to it until the last time around. It was April of last year. That's kind of when COVID went crazy and hit the fan. I couldn't have any visitors. I was septic again. Really, some of my darkest days being in a hospital by yourself. She has another surgery scheduled for next week. And while her hospital is currently still accepting visitors. Today, I just got off the phone with pre-op and they told me that right now, nothing has changed, but it could change. Bush is pleading for the spike to stall so she can have her parents and her boyfriend by her side. It means more mentally. Um, to have my loved ones there and the people that I care about and that care about me most there with me. You have the nurses and they're great and they're awesome, but you just don't have, I didn't have the people that I knew and I loved the most with me. The statements we received from Infirmary and Providence earlier today urging people to get the vaccine, maintaining it is still the most effective way to keep everyone safe. Live in Mobile, Brianna Hollis, WKRG News 5.